Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to 4D Runs. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the Socony Triumph AT versus the A6 Glide Rod. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 4D Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including a link to both of these shoes. Right, so we've got the Asics Glide Ride, which you know I have an obsession with, and we've got the Triumph 18, so let's get stuck in. Right, so the new Triumph 18 is an updated version of the very popular 17, um, which is a sort of ultra cushion, ultra soft um, daily trainer, but sort of, I think, suited uh, towards grabbing those longer miles. But anyway, that's what we've got here with the update version. Then we've got my old favorite, the Glide Ride, which I really need a new pair of because these guys are on their way out. Um, and this shoe again is that sort of long run mileage eater. You can have it as a daily trainer, but personally I don't use it as a daily trainer. I use it on my long runs. So yeah, I thought it'd be cool to put the two together because um, they are sort of comparable. Price wise, well, I'll tell you what, let's get into some of the stats and some of the features. We'll start with the Glide Ride, which you can now get for under hundred pounds here in the UK. Uh, the shoe weighs 11.3 ounces. It's got a five mil drop. It's got a big old 30 mil stack in the heel. You've got the guide sole technology uh, with improved cushioning, reduces muscle load at foot strike. It does this with a combination of the flight foam tech and the gel technology cushioning. Uh, you've got an engineered mesh upper, and that's probably about it really. Right, and then we've got the Triumph 18. Now this updated version comes with the Power Run Plus midsole, which has been tweaked about to give you some new geometry, and I'll come on to that in a second. You've got, uh, what is it, 10, no, actually it's gone up in weight. It's 11.1 .1 ounces versus 10.8 on the old shoe. So it's kind of in line with the Glide Ride. Uh, it's 145 pound, which is a lot of money, I think. Um, you've got this newly designed, yeah, let's just call it newly designed rubber on the outside. So they've got rid of the sort of crystallized rubber on the outside and they put some blown rubber on there. It's got an engineered mesh upper on it uh, and that's about it really. Both of these are sort of neutral running shoes um, for us everyday runners. So where do we start? Let's start with the Triumph 18. Now for me, if you've not seen the video already, check it out, I've done a review of, of this on a standalone basis. There's too much going on in this shoe for me. There's so much padding and cushioning, cushion around the shoe. In particular, it's got the world's thickest tongue. There's so much padding in here. Now, don't get me wrong, padding's good, but sometimes there's just a little bit too much. But you may like it, right? So if you like, like running on pillows, this is a good shoe to look at. The Power Run Plus um, midsole's great. Power Run Plus midsoles in general are good. What they try to do with the new geometry is make it that little bit snappier, which I don't think they've achieved, but okay. It still feels very cumbersome and, and, and it's very hard to pick up the pace in it. It's just, there's, yeah, it's just not there to do that. It's there to eat miles, make it comfortable, and, and you can just cruise around on it. That's where this shoe comes into its element. It's not the most breathable upper in the world. My foot did get hot. I know it's been warm, but it does get a little bit hot in it. Uh, it does fit true to size, which is cool. I kind of appreciate that from Saucony because they have come up narrow for me in the past, but it does fit true to size. And yeah, that's about it really. Um, the Glide Ride, as you know, I love this shoe. If you've not seen any reviews, I've done about a million on them. I absolutely love this shoe. It is heavy, 11.3 ounces, uh, but they balance the weight out really nicely. I love the rocker sensation. I prefer the five mil drop in the shoe. I like the combination of the flight foam and the gel. It fits true to size. Um, the outsole is probably the only concern. I think the outsole on the socket is better. It just gives you that little bit more traction, but you know what, I've run these in all conditions, as you guys know. So I think it's gonna be no surprise which one I prefer, and it's the Glide Ride, um, purely from, for me, it just it just ticks all the boxes. I think it's, um, even though it's the same sort of weight, I just think the way they've structured the whole shoe with the rocker and all that sort of stuff, there is padding in the heel area, but it's not too much. The tongue is padded, but it's not too much. It's uh, just sort of a, a, a light is the wrong word, but it's like a bit of a stripped down version of this. This is great if you really want a really ultra soft place to be when you're running and, and you just want to go out there and cruise around, eat up miles, but do it basically like you're sitting on the sofa. This is what this shoe is really good at. And they've made some good improvements over the 17, but actually, you could probably get the 17 and not much, uh, not notice much difference between the two, and especially if you can get the 17 like less than 100 pounds, it's 
probably worth getting that versus the 18. The guy right at 100, under 100 pound right now, I think is the best out of the two. So for me, if you're looking for a sort of long run or a daily training shoe that's gonna eat up loads of miles but be comfortable at the same time, then go for the Glide Ride people.